Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you and ask you to anoint us, empower us with the Holy Ghost, move us into the apostolic, prophetic, grant us wisdom and knowledge, empower us with the Holy Ghost. Let us be edified. Let my preaching and teaching be accepted to you, Father God. We ask in the Lord Jesus Christ's name through the power of the Holy Ghost. Today we're going to be looking at, and this is part one, this is part one. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the history of the Christian church, God's elect and very elect. A brief synopsis of history. His story. This is New Testament history all the way up to the modern day events. Part one, and we will look at the brief, and part two, we'll look at the brief Old Testament history. Part one, New Testament history, A.D. This is the first century we're going to be looking at. One, Herod Philip built Beth Seda. Wang Mang became regent in China. Two, Tiberius returned from Rhodes. Four, Archelaus was made king of Judea and Samaria, Antipas ruler of Galilee and Pura, and Philip of the Northeastern Territories. Six, Archelaus was deposed by Augustus and banished to Vienne in Gaul. Caponius was made procurator of Judea and Judea became a prop. And the numbering system is referring to the year of Rome. Annas was appointed high priest by Quirinius, governor of Syria. Roman general Varus invaded Germany to Westphalia. 7. Census in Judea. Gaiderius ruled Britain. 8. Jesus, age 12, was at the temple in Jerusalem. Of it was banished from Rome. 9. Ambivius was made procurator of Judea. Revolts in Dalmatia and Pannonia were crushed by Tiberius. Vespasian was born. The Roman army under Varus was defeated by Arminius and the German Churasi in Teutonburg Forest. Wang Mang became emperor of China, founding the Xia dynasty. 10. Saul, Paul the Apostle, was born in Tarsus. 11. Tiberius was made co-regent with Augustus. 12. Annius Rufus was made procurator of Judea. Gaius Caligula was born. 14. Valerius Scrutus was made procurator of Judea. Augustus died August 19th and Tiberius became the sole ruler. Germanicus Caesar defeated Arminius and the Cherossi. 15. Annas was deposed and Ishmael, son of Fiavi, became high priest. 16. Eleazar, son of Annas, became high priest. Fusus Slibo committed suicide. 17. Simon, son of Cabithus, became high priest. Germanicus Caesar triumphed in Germany. Livy died. Major earthquake in Asia Minor. 18. See, what we have is a problem today in uh, history. The problem in history of the philosophical naturalist, Darwinian evolutionists, the radical leftists and liberals want to give you revived history. And enough is enough. 
on revived history. They want to rechange uh, the philosophical naturalists want to change history, manipulate history. Those who hold to the uh, atheist, uh, Darwinian atheism, radical, fanatical leftists, the communists, the socialists, the Marxists, all want to change history. They preclude the possibility for miracles, so they date things later than they are, they manipulate, they withheld information, and so forth. And so in this, I'm giving you a synopsis of history, things going on in the world, in the six day creation and the eight day creation, if you, if you, ha if you will, give you a synopsis of history, an accurate, from a Christian theistic worldview of history, give or take off a little bit here and there, but for the most part, an accurate synopsis of history all the way up to 1950. So a lot of stuff takes place throughout history. And what we see is God's providence at work, his unfolding plan of redemption at work, and he is willing things to his plan and purpose, the completion of the work of his work of redemption which is progressive that starts out as a small seed and becomes the biggest seed in the garden. Josephus Kiefer's son-in-law to Annas became high priest. Ovid died. Rome annexed Cappadocia, consulship of Tiberius III and Germanicus Caesar. 19. Germanicus Caesar was poisoned by Piso, governor of Syria. 20. Herod Antipas founded Tiberius. Piso was tried and committed suicide. 21. Consulship of Tiberius IV and his son Eusus. Tiberius retired to Campania. 22. Eusebius established the Han Dynasty in China. 23. Jesus was poisoned by Lucius Aelius Sidinus. Ptolemy succeeded Juba as king of Mauritania. 25. John the Baptist began his ministry. Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River by John. Cremutius Cordus committed suicide. 26. Jesus began his Galilean ministry. Herod's temple in Jerusalem was completed. Pontius Pilate was appointed procurator of Judea. 27. Jesus began his Judean ministry. John the Baptist was beheaded by Herod. Herod Antipas married Herodias. Tiberius withdrew from Rome to Capri. 28. Jesus began his Perine ministry. Bernice was born to Agrippa I and Cipros. Titius Sabinus was executed. Julia died. 29. Jesus was crucified, buried and resurrected in April. He ascended in May. The day of Pentecost was in June when the Holy Spirit came. Judas Iscariot, who had betrayed Jesus for thirty pieces of silver, hanged himself and falling headlong, he burst asunder in their midst, and all his bowels gushed out. Philip traveled to Syria in southern Russia where he ministered for twenty years. Libya died. Agrippina and Nero, widow and son of Germanicus Caesar, were banished. 30. James, son of Zebedee, traveled to Spain where he established churches. Nero committed suicide. 31. Consulship of Tiberius the Antigenus. Buddhism reached China. 33. The church at Jerusalem held a leading position in the Christian community. Simon Peter went to Antioch, 
established a church and stayed there for seven years. 34. Herod Philip died. 35. Ignatius was born. Pontius Pilate massacred the Samaritans at Mount Gerizim. Arviragus ruled Britain. 36. Stephen was stoned to death, becoming the first Christian martyr. Saul, Paul the Apostle, was converted on the road to Damascus. Marcellus was made procurator of Judea. Cephas was deposed and Jonathan, son of Annas, was made high priest. Herod Agrippa I offended Tiberius and was imprisoned. Pontius Pilate was sent to Rome for misadministration. Eretus warred against Herod Antipas. 37. Paul was at Damascus. The first church in Europe was started in Glastonbury, England by Joseph of Arimathea. Herennius Capito was procurator of Judea. Theophilus, son of Annas, was made high priest. Tiberius died on March 16th and Gaius Caligula ruled as co-consul with Tiberius Gemellus. Caligula killed Gemellus. Flavius Josephus was born. Nero was born. Herod Agrippa I was released from prison and ruled Syria. 38. Paul fled from Damascus, went to Jerusalem, then to Tarsus. Palamotu ruled Pontus. Cotes was king of Armenia Minor. Drusilla was born to Agrippa I and Kipros. 39. Joseph of Arimathea and Simon Zelotes went to Avalon in Britain and established a church there. Titus was born. Gaius Caligula left Rome for Germany. Herod Antipas was deposed and exiled. Caligula attempted to initiate worship of his image in the Jerusalem temple. 40. Ignatius succeeded Simon Peter at Antioch. Gaius Caligula returned to Rome. 41. Herod Agrippa I was made king of Judea and Samaria by Claudius. Simon Canthras was made high priest. Gaius Caligula was assassinated by the Praetorian Guard and was succeeded by his uncle, Claudius, on January 24. Seneca was exiled to Corsica. Philo of Alexandria died. 43. Lycia in Asia Minor was made an imperial providence of Rome. Aulus Plautius of Rome invaded Britain. London was founded. China conquered Annan and Tonkin. 44. Paul was at Antioch. The disciples of Christ were first called Christians at Antioch. Simon Peter went to Caesarea from Joppa and Cornelius was converted. Simon Peter also ministered in Bithynia, Cappadocia and Galatia. James, son of Zebedee, was beheaded by Herod Antipas. Herod Agrippa I died, eaten of worms, at age 54. Caspius Fadus was made procurator of Judea. Claudius was victorious in Britain. 45. Paul, Barnabas and John Mark visited Jerusalem from Antioch. James wrote his epistle. Matthew went to Persia. Thrace was made a Roman province. 46. Paul was at Antioch. Tiberius Julius Alexander was made procurator of Judea. 47. Ananias, son of Nebadaeus, was made high priest. 48. Paul and Barnabas began their first missionary journey. Ventidius Cumanus was made procurator of Judea. Claudius married his niece, Agrippina the Younger. 49. Thomas, Jude and Bartholomew went to India where they ministered in Nisibis, Malbar, Sokotora, Camboya and Moga. They even went to Kutio, Bisnaga and China. 50. Paul and Barnabas attended the Council of Jerusalem. Matthew wrote his Gospel. Domitius Nero, son of Agrippina, was adopted by Claudius. Herod III died. Herod Agrippa II ruled Chalcis. A Gothic kingdom was set up on Lower Vistula. 51. Paul and Silas began a second missionary journey. Paul met the Gentile physician, Luke Cathroas. Barnabas and John Mark ministered in Syria and Cilicia. Domitian was born. Vespasian was consul. Gallia was proconsul of Agair. The Romans captured Caractacus in Britain. 52. Paul wrote 1 Thessalonians from Corinth. Thomas was killed in Crenganore, India by Brahmin priests who knocked him to the ground and stuck him through with a lance. Gamaliel the Pharisee died. Claudius expelled the Jews from Rome. 53. 
So now we are at an AD 53. We're hearing about what's going on in his history, the chronological and history, what's going on in the six day creation, what's going on with the descendants of the house of Judah and Israel, descendants of Hagar and Esau. And remember, from Greece to the Roman Empire, descendants of Hagar, or I mean descendants of Esau migrated there, and some eighth-day creationers, descendants from the eighth-day creation. So what do we got going on? We're in the first century. It is 53 AD. Now we're going to look at. This is what's going on in history at this moment, give or take. What's going on in the house of Judah, house of Israel, and the Gentiles. The six day creation and the eighth day creation and history. We hear about Joseph Aram going to Avalon to build a church. And we know when he was a kid, based on the traditions of Glastonbury, when he was a kid, Joseph Aram took Jesus to. Glastonbury, England, because he was a tin miner. And so we see Joseph and Aram in history building a church, establishing a church in Avalon. And of course, the traditions of Glastonbury tell you a little bit more in detail in history. So here we go, 53 AD. Paul wrote 2 Thessalonians from Corinth. Antonius Felix was made procurator of Judea. Nero married Octavia. Herod Agrippa II ruled Galilee. Drusilla married Isisus, king of Emissa. 54. Paul and Silas began a third missionary journey. Philip, after having ministered in France, was pierced through the thighs and hung upside down on a cross until he died at Heliopolis in Phrygia at the age of 87. Claudius was poisoned by his wife Agrippina on October 13. Her son, Nero, became emperor. Zealot terrorism in Palestine. 55. Paul was at Ephesus. Ishmael, son of Phiabi III, was made high priest. The revolt of the Egyptian, Acts 21:38. Consulship of Nero and Anicius Vetus. Nero poisoned his brother Britannicus. 56. Paul ministered at Ephesus. Nero increased the territory of Herod Agrippa II. Caesarea Philippi was renamed Neronius. 57. Paul wrote 1 Corinthians from Ephesus, 2 Corinthians from Macedonia, and Galatians from Corinth. 58. Paul wrote Romans from Corinth. Paul was arrested at Jerusalem and sent to Caesarea. Buddhism was endorsed by Emperor Mingti of China. Roman General Corbulo invaded Armenia and captured Artaxata. 59. Paul was tried before Antonius Felix of Caesarea. Corbulo took Tigranocita. Nero introduced Greek games in Rome. 60. Paul was tried before Festus in Caesarea. After having ministered in Persia, Egypt and Ethiopia, Matthew was slain with a halberd in Egypt. Paul, sent as a prisoner to Rome, was shipwrecked on Malta. Luke wrote his gospel. Simon Zelotes returned to Britain after having ministered through Egypt, Cyrene, North Africa, Carthage, Martonia, Libya and Spain. Nero killed his mother, Agrippina. Putini was made a Roman colony. Corbulo became governor of Syria. 61. Paul arrived at Rome. Porcius Festus was procurator of Judea. 
Joseph Kabi was made high priest. Luke wrote Acts. Boudica, queen of the Iceni in Britain, led a revolt against the Romans, but was killed by Suetonius Paulinus. Galilean Pera were added to Herod's kingdom. 62. Paul, at Rome, wrote Philemon, Colossians, Ephesians and Philippians. Ananus was made high priest and had James, brother of Jesus, cast from the pinnacle of the temple, showered with stones and finally his skull smashed and his brains beaten out with a fuller's club. He was buried on the Mount of Olives. Burrus died. Seneca fell. Nero divorced Octavia and married Poppia Sabina. Octavia was banished and killed by Nero. Luxus Albinus was made procurator of Judea. 63, Paul was released from prison at Rome and went to Macedonia and Asia Minor, writing 1 Timothy from Macedonia and Titus from Ephesus. Joshua, son of Gamaliel, was made high priest. Rome annexed Pontus in Asia Minor. Claudia was born to Nero and Poppaea. Tiridates founded the Arsacid dynasty in Armenia. 64, Paul visited Spain. Peter wrote 1 Peter from Babylon. Gessius Florus was made procurator of Judea. After having ministered with Andrew in Armenia, Matthias, the apostle who took Judas' place, returned to Jerusalem where he was stoned and beheaded. A great fire burned Rome on July 19. Nero persecuted the Christians. 65. So we see in... Sixty four AD Christians get persecuted by Nero Caesar. And remember Paul is under during his time his missionary work it was Nero was the Caesar at that time. And the Caesar call was very much slowly and gradually being implicated. And persecutions of Christians took place. Was in Spain and Britain. John Mark wrote his gospel. Matthias, son of Theophilus, was made high priest. The conspiracy of Piso. Poppia died. The philosopher Seneca committed suicide at Nero's orders. 66. Paul traveled from Spain to Asia Minor. Their zealot John of Giscala terrorized Palestine, resulting in the Jewish war, riots in Caesarea and Jerusalem. Masada on the Dead Sea was captured by the Jews. Vespasian and his son Titus led the Roman armies in Judea. Nero married Statilia Messalina and executed Rufus and Priculus. Petronius died. 67. Peter wrote 2 Peter and was crucified by Nero. John Mark went to Venice and to Alexandria, Egypt. A.D. 67, the Apostle Paul is crucified by Nero Caesar. And who's Nero Caesar? Well, he's the Antichrist, the beast. Part of the system, not just individuals, but the whole system and the individuals under epitata, under a period of time of the Caesar call. Where he founded a church, Phineas, son of Samuel, was made high priest. Vespasian was made legate in Judea. Corbulo was ordered to commit suicide. Josephus was taken prisoner. Nero began work on the Corinth Canal. 68. Lazarus of Bethany ministered in Citium in Cyprus for 30 years, then traveled to Marseille in Gaul where he spent seven more years and also visited Britain. He retired to Cyprus where he died, again. John Mark was dragged to death through the streets of Alexandria, Egypt on Easter. Bartholomew, after having ministered in India with Thomas and Jude and with Philip of Hierapolis, died after being beaten with clubs laid alive and crucified in Armenia by the priests of Albinus, led by Astyges, the king's brother. Paul was imprisoned in Rome and wrote 2 Timothy shortly before he was beheaded in Mebi Nero. 
Jude wrote his epistle. Hebrews was written, probably by Paul. Vespasian attacked Jerusalem. Nero committed suicide on June 9th and was succeeded by Galba. Josephus wrote his history of the Jewish war. 69. Polycarp was born. After having ministered in the foothills of the Caucasus Mountains, to the Scythians in South Russia around the Black Sea, establishing churches in Scythia, Byzantium, Greece, Thrace, Macedonia and Patros, Andrew was crucified at Achaea on a cross in the form of an X, hanging there for three days before he died on the last day of November. Luke, who had been ministering with Andrew, was crucified at Patros, Greece by being hanged on an olive tree by the idolatrous priests. Galba was murdered by Toe in January. The Senate declared Ato emperor on April 16. Ato committed suicide and was succeeded by Aulus Vitellius. Vitellius was murdered on December 22 and Titus Flavius Vespasian became ruler, founding the Flavian dynasty. Audionius Flaccus was murdered. 70. Vespasian arrived at Rome. Titus, his son, with 80,000 men, captured and destroyed Jerusalem in August. 700 Jewish prisoners were taken to Rome. Judea was detached from Syria and made a separate Roman province. 71. So now we see AD 70, the big moment in history that the Apostle John writes about in Revelation. The destruction of Jerusalem and the Temple in 70 AD and the scattering because the Jews, 700 Jews were taken prison, prison and the persecution continued. All astrologers and philosophers were banished from Rome. 72, after ministering in Syria, Edessa and northern Persia, Jude, Thodos, was killed with a halberd at Edessa and was buried at Karakalesia. Simon Zelotes was sawn asunder in Persia. Jewish revolts in Egypt and Syria. Antiochus IV was deposed. Asia Minor was added to Cappadocia. 73, Barnabas was killed by the Jews in Salamis on Cyprus. Greece was made a senatorial province. Censorship of Vespasian and Titus. 74, Masada fell to the Romans on April 15. 75, Herod Agrippa II and Bernice moved to Rome. Media and Armenia were invaded by the Alani. Vespasian began building the Roman Colosseum. 76, Joseph of Ariamatia died in Britain and was buried at Glastonbury. 77, Roman general Cnaeus Julius Agricola became governor in Britain. 78, the conspiracy of Cassino Alien News and Marcellus. 79, Vespasian died, succeeded by his son, Titus. <coughs> Elder Pliny died. Mount Vesuvius erupted, destroying Pompeii and Herculaneum. 80, Rome was burned again. Titus dedicated the Roman Colosseum. 81, Targums, Aramaic versions of the Old Testament, began to appear. The Arch of Titus was erected. Titus died, succeeded by his brother Domitian, son of Vespasian and Flavia Domitilla. 83. The Romans invaded southwest Germany and defeated the Chatti. 85. John wrote his Gospel. Agricola was recalled from Britain. 86. The inauguration of the Capitoline Games. The First Dacian War. 88. Clement I was Bishop of Rome. Revolts in Mainz. 89. Antonius Saturninus of Germany rebelled. Marcomanni and Quadi of Bohemia defeated Domitian in the Second Dacian War. 90. Jewish rabbis gathered at Jamnia to establish the Jewish canon of scripture. John wrote I John, 2 John and 3 John. Domitian began his persecution of Christians. 92. The Patalin palaces were completed. The Third Dacian War began. 93. Agricola died. The trial of Bibius Massa. Persecution of Senators. 94. Roman persecution of Jewish and Christians. Josephus Antiquities was published. 95. Polycarp was baptized by John on December 25th. 
John was banished from Ephesus to Patmos by Domitian where he wrote Revelation. During his banishment, Timothy ministered at Ephesus. Clement wrote his first epistle to the Corinthian church from Rome. The Jews refused to pay the tax levied by Domitian. Arian was born. All philosophers were expelled from Italy. 96. John was released from exile on Patmos by Nerva and returned to Ephesus. Domitian was stabbed by Stephanus in September and Marcus Coxus Nerva became emperor. Kanishka, ruler of the Kushan dynasty in India, died. 97. Timothy reproved the pagans of Ephesus for their idolatry, causing them to fall upon him with clubs and beat him. He died two days later from the beating. Clement wrote his second epistle to the Corinthian church. John the Apostle died at Ephesus on September 26. 98. Nerva died, succeeded by his adopted son, Marcus Alpius Trajanus Trajan. Gloucester was founded. 99. Trajan arrived in Rome and built the Forum of Trajan. And so we see biblical history coming into play. We have the Acts of the Apostles, Acts, the last chapter of Acts, Acts chapter nine. It tells us about tells us about the mission that Paul took to the house uh, to Britain and all that. So we see the first century history coming to a close, things taking place, happening. This does God predicted would happen. So, anyways, that's that. So, we're, there's kind of a synopsis of first century history. Of course, obviously, uh, it's a synopsis of history. I'll tell you. All the details, just the general details. Just the general details.
Well, of course, we, the Bible ends on Acts 28, but Acts 29, which is called the lost, the lost chapter of Acts of the Apostle, I'm going to say it's infallible or divine, but it definitely gives some historical insight. And so we see in Acts 29, some of the other missions that the Apostle Paul went on. Had some Druids came to him, which were those who were Jews, practiced the uh, Orthodox religion. And we see in Acts 29 his journeys. Some of the journeys you don't hear about in Acts in the the Acts of the Apostle, which give you some insight and some detail to uh, the history that's going on, that's taking place had some Druids who were Jews. They're part of the descendants of the house of uh, the daughters of uh, Zedekiah. Of course, you got the house of Israel as well. So you got the Apocrypha too as well, which I think is important. I'm not going to say it's divine or inspired by the Word of God, although some of it's locked in the Masa. I recommend the Apocrypha translated by Good Speed. And we have a period of time, obviously, you know, in the Old Testament with the captivity of the house of Israel and Judah. And, of course, Maccabeus, the first book of Maccabeus, is, uh, the second book of Maccabeus gives you some insight in the history that is taking place in the Old Testament and mention of the migrations of sons of Isaac. But anyways, I'd recommend that. So we see first century events taking place just as God said would happen. We have see the Olive Discourse being fulfilled that Jesus pronounced that uh, and John, the Apostle John's, the book of Revelation, his version of the Olivet Discourse that are direct allusions from the Old Testament passage. And so we see 
most of the book of Revelation being fulfilled in the first century, first three centuries. God is organizing, arranging things and making things and creating things and creating the atmosphere and so forth for the slow, gradual process of Christianizing the whole entire world, ushering in a golden age of peace and prosperity. And of course, when Jesus uses the all of the discs, of course, he's pointing back to the Old Testament uh, period of tribulation under Jesus Maccabeus with Antiochus Fourth Epiphany, the real miserable time, and they were liberated. And he uses those direct Old Testament allusions of the Old Testament to apply to the revelation. The revelation in John's version of it is his version of the all of the discourse of most of the book of Revelation is fulfilled in the first three centuries. The only thing that hasn't happened is the uh, second return of Christ, the resurrection, and so forth. Now let's take a look, let's go all the way back to 4000 BC. Now, you and I know that there was a first world age and heaven age. And during that time, dinosaurs existed on earth and the rebellion took place in heaven. God destroyed the first world age and heaven age in the span of a period of 8,000 non-literal little years. God established the second world age and heaven age. But he wanted us to be born in the second world age and heaven age, born innocent of woman with our memory of the first world age and heaven age wiped from our memory. To be born innocent, born of flesh as woman, to choose to serve God or not. We were all angel spirits in the first world age and heaven age and then we became flesh when God finally established the second we became flesh and the establishment of the second world age and heaven age at the sixth day creation Genesis 1:26. At the eighth gate day creation, Adam and Eve, God, they had free will of choice and through the potential to do evil by God gave them the potential to do evil and by their free will of choice to actualize sin into existence, fall to the place. They lost our ability to choose and choose otherwise and this is still the second world age and heaven age One, Herod Philip built Beth Sailor. Wang Mang became regent in Ch
4004, Archbishop James Usher's 1654 Date of the Creation of Man. thousand BC. Three thousand BC. Three thousand nine hundred and seventy five. Frank Clausen's 1975 date of the creation of man. 3845, Seth was born to Adam. 3760, traditional Jewish date of the creation of man. 3740, Enos was born to Seth. 3650, Canaan was born to Enos. 3600, Sumerian city-states were in existence. 3580, Mahal Eliel was born to Canaan. 3515, Jared was born to Mahal Eliel. 3500, Cuneiform writing system was developed by the Sumerians. 3378, the festivals had their origin in Egypt. 3353, Enoch was born to Jared. 3,300, Men's United Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. 3,288, Methuselah was born to Enoch. 3,101, Lamed was born to Methuselah. 3,100, Barat founded the first Phoenician dynasty. The first Egyptian dynasty was founded. 3,045, Adam died at age 930. 2000 BC 988 Enoch was translated at age 365 2933 Seth died at age 912 2919 Noah was born to Lamech 2890 the second Egyptian dynasty was founded by Hetep 2835 Enos died at age 905. 2740. Canaan died at age 910. 2686. The third Egyptian dynasty was founded by Nebka. 2685. Mahal Eliel died at age 895. 2613. The fourth Egyptian dynasty was founded by Sniffer. 2589, Cheops, Khufu, ruled Egypt for 23 years. 2570, the Great Pyramid of Cheops was built at Giza in Egypt. 2553, Jared died at age 962. 2500, the Hurrians, originating in Armenia, moved into the Near Eastern area, settling in the Euphrates Valley. 2494, the fifth Egyptian dynasty was founded by Yuzakat. 2439, God determined to destroy man in his 1536th year. 2425, the cult of Osiris spread over Egypt. 2419, Japheth was born to Noah. 2417, Chem was born to Noah. 2416, Ham was born to Noah. 2400, Babylon was ruled by Samoabi. 2344, the Hebrew date of the deluge, as well as the Chinese date in their epoch of Fuhai, the Babylonian and Egyptian records. 2341, the sixth Egyptian dynasty was founded by Teti. 2324, Lamed died at age 777. 2319, Methuselah died at age 969. The flood came in the 1656th year of man. 
2318, Noah vacated the ark after one year and ten days. 2317, Arphaxah was born to Shem. 2286, China was ruled by Emperor Yu. 2285, Babylon was invaded by Kudanang Kandi of Elam. 2282, Saleh was born to Arphaxat. 2267, the city of Tyre was built. 2264, the Akkadian Empire was founded by Sargon of Agade. 2252, Eber was born to Salah. 2250, Babylon was ruled for 55 years by Hammurabi. 2218, Peleg was born to Eber. 2208, the confusion of tongues at the Tower of Babel. 2188, Re was born to Peleg. 2181, the seventh Egyptian dynasty was founded by Nefaka the Younger. 2180, the Semitic Empire of Akkad was overcome by the Guti invasion. 2173, the eighth Egyptian dynasty was founded by Wajkar Pepisnbi. 2160, the ninth Egyptian dynasty was founded. 2156, Sarug was born to Re. 2133, the 10th Egyptian dynasty was founded. 2130, the 11th Egyptian dynasty was founded by Menchehotep. 2126, Neha was born to Sarug. 2097, Terai was born to Neha. 2060, the 3rd dynasty of Ur was founded. 2020, Mari became independent from her. So, you know, when we get into the Old Testament history, the history is there, but we don't have as much detail on history as we do in later dates. And so, Genesis 1-1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and earth, period. He didn't say when during the first world age and heaven age and then the second verse comes about the catapult bolt takes place dinosaurs are on earth in the first world age and heaven age we're all in existence we're spirits rebellion of satan took place the fall the rebellion took place just uh, destroyed the god destroyed the first world age and heaven age established the second world age and heaven age in the span of 8,000 non-literal little years. And so, from that point, I think we need to take the chronology all the way up till the first century. years so by 2264 uh, oh by 2060 BC which you have to take that in a non-literal literal thousand year period of time since the second world age and heaven age was established we have this dynasty being established again we don't have a hundred percent accurate we don't know how old the universe is and so forth a hundred percent there's theories and so forth but we must take chronology of history if we're going to look at stuff like this from the point of uh, since the establish of the second world age and heaven age so by 2020 and uh, by 2060 BC it was referring to 
a non-literal, literal period of time, thousand-year period of time, take the chronology from that point to modern-day history to the first century, and the chronology from that point could be accurate after the Second World Age and Heaven Age was established. But nonetheless, we've got a synopsis of history that's what's going on in the Old Testament. God is working things to his will. So we can take Old Testament history. We can say 991 B.C. and so forth. Because events were taking place that, uh, like I said, the infallible word of God confirms and all the various forms that God brings forth is truth. So now let's look at but we mustn't look at this 1000 BC is literally that's how long and since the earth was established we might be able to say from the 8 thousand non-literal year we can take the chronology from that point on to the future and start dating it from the second world age and heaven age this stuff's not referring to the first world age and heaven age but these events thousand bc what's going on in history is referring as part of the second world age and heaven age So 1,000, 1,000 B.C. Nine hundred and ninety-one. The twelfth Egyptian dynasty was founded by Amenemhat I. Nineteen seventy-nine. Peleg died at age two hundred and thirty-nine. Nineteen seventy-eight. Neha died at age one hundred and forty-eight. Nineteen sixty-nine. Noah died at age nine hundred and fifty. 1967, Abram was born to Terah. 1957, Sarah was born to Terah. 1949, Red died at age 239. 1927, Terah moved from Ur to Haran. 1926, Sarug died at age 230. 1900, Job, the oldest book of the Bible, was written, probably by Job. Jewish tradition attributes it to Moses. Some believe it was written much later, 595-588 BC. 1892, Terah died at age 205. Abram left Haran and entered Canaan. 1891, Abram dwelt in Egypt. 1889, Abram and Lot separated one from the other. 1884, so anyways, most history, any, any history from the disciplines of science for us to learn and understand history, we're going to pick it up from the first, or we're going to pick it up from the second world age and heaven age. That's where you're going to find the history. And you can't go back any further than that. Except, and if you go back further than that, well, to the first world age and heaven age, dinosaurs existed on the planet, we know that. But any history after that, well, it's in the second world age and heaven age, because in the first world age and heaven age, we were angels, or your spirits. And a rebellion took place in heaven, and God destroyed the first world age and heaven age, and established the second world age, heaven age, in an span of 8,000 non-literal, literal years. So any history we pick up is going to be in the second world age and heaven age, except it goes back to the dinosaurs. 
So, anyways. Lot was captured but was rescued by Abram. 1883, God made a covenant with Abram. 1881, Ishmael was born to Abram and Hagar. 1879, Arphaxas died at age 438. 1868, Abram's name was changed to Abraham. Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed and the Dead Sea was formed. 1867, Isaac was born to Abraham and Sarah. And we also had the mention of the flood, which was not a global flood, but a regional flood, which was sufficient enough. Dot. 1850, Ashkelon rebelled against Egypt. 1849, Salah died at age 433. 1830, Sarah died at age 127. 1829, Abraham showed his willingness to sacrifice Isaac. 1827, Isaac married Rebekah. Abraham married Keturah. 1820, Shamshi Adad of Assyria built the Temple of Enuatua. 1817, Shem died at age 600. 1807, Esau and Jacob were born to Isaac and Rebekah. 1792, Abraham died at age 175. Hammurabi II ruled Babylon. 1788, Ebo died at age 464. 1786, the 13th and 14th dynasties were founded in Egypt. 1775, Esau sold his birthright to Jacob. Isaac went to Jura. 1765, Hammurabi II conquered Mari. 1750, Babylon was overrun by the barbarians from Elam, Media for 576 years. 1744, Ishmael died at age 137. We hear the mention of the Tower of Babel. Babel, that's when the languages are mixed and that's when some immig uh, immigration took place. And so you might very well say we're looking at 1744 BC here, since you might say the second world age and heaven age was established. And you have the migrations of the six-day creation and the eighth-day creation taking place. Now we're up to up to where we're at. Dot. Seventeen forty. The old kingdom of the Hittite kings began. 1730, Jacob went to Padan Aram. The Hartos entered Egypt from Asia. 1723, Jacob married Leah and Rachel. Reuben was born to Jacob I Leah. 1722, Simeon was born to Jacob I Leah. 1721, Levi was born to Jacob I Leah. 1720, Judah was born to Jacob I Leah. Dan was born to Jacob I Leah. 1719, Naphtali was born to Jacob I Bliha. Gad was born to Jacob I Zippah. 1718, Asher was born to Jacob I Zippah. Issachar was born to Jacob I Leah. 1717, Zebulun was born to Jacob I Leah. 1716, Dinah was born to Jacob I Leah. Joseph was born to Jacob I Rachel. 1710, Benjamin was born to Jacob I Rachel. Rachel died at Bethlehem. Jacob returned to Hebron. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. 1700, Hammurabi III ruled Babylon. Ba so we're look, now we're up to <coughs> 1700 BC since the Second World Age and Heaven Age was established.
founded the early Assyrian kingdom. 1699, Joseph was sold into Egyptian slavery by his brothers. 1696, Pharaoh and Zara were born to Judah by Tamar. Because, you know, uh, the words day in the Old Testament are not meant to be interpreted literally as a literal day. Now, you go into the Hebrew, it means a period of time. It should be a non-literal, literal, a non-literal, literal, thousand-year period of time is the best way to describe it. And from verse 2 and on, or verse 3 and on, you're now, God is talking about the second world age and heaven age and he's slowly and gradually establishing the second world age and heaven age he creates this sit on the sixth day in the second world age and heaven age he creates all the races, all the non-white races. And it says we are created in the image of God, the likeness of God. We are created in the image of God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and in angels. And then you get to Genesis chapter 2, 7, paraphrasing uh, Adam and Eve were created. The first white man and the first white woman, the eighth period of time, or eighth day of the establishment of the second world age in heaven age, which could be in a non-literal, literal thousand year period of time. And so during that time, other history is being formed. And, of course, Adam and Eve, and, of course, God created the animals to be domesticated later on. He names them. And then the free will of choice to fall takes place, and boom. And so, and we see the migrations of the people of the world. Where did Cain get his wife? Well, from the six-day creation. Dot. 1690, Kohath was born to Levi. Assyria was ruled by Levi. 1688, Joseph interpreted the baker's and the butler's dreams while in prison. 1687, Isaac died at age 180. Chesham defiled Dinah. 1686, Joseph became ruler in Egypt. 1685, Manasseh was born to Joseph by Asenath. 1684, the 15th dynasty was founded in Egypt. 1683, Ephraim was born to Joseph by Asenath. 1679, the seven years of plenty ended in Egypt and famine began. 1677, Jacob, at age 130, and his 70 descendants went to Egypt. 1674, the 16th dynasty was founded in Egypt by another. 1673, Assyria was ruled by Samu Adadai. 1672, the seven year famine ended in Egypt. 1661, Assyria was ruled by Ptah 1660, Jacob died at age 147 in Egypt. 1651, Hezron was born to Phares. 1650, the 17th dynasty was founded in Egypt. 1649, Assyria was ruled by Bozea. 1621, Assyria was ruled by Lalea. 1620, Amram was born to Kehath. 
1615, Assyria was ruled by Kaidan Ninua. 1606, Joseph died at age 110 in Egypt. 1604, Ram was born to Hezron. 1601, Assyria was ruled by Samuadad II. 1598, Assyria was ruled by Eri III. 1585, Assyria was ruled by Samsiadad II. 1584, Levi died at age 137. 1580, a new empire was founded in Egypt by arms. 1507. And so now we're up at 1584 BC since the Second World Ages, Human Age has been established and Levi dies who, who all the Levitical priests are descended from. Literal thousand years or non little thousand years. Assyria was ruled by Isam Dagon II. 1570, the Hyksos were expelled from Egypt. The 18th dynasty was established in Egypt by Amosis. 1567, Egypt was ruled by Ramesses II. 1564, Amenadab was born to Ram. 1563, Assyria was ruled by Samsiadad III. 1557, Kehath died at age 133. 1556, Athens was founded by Cecrops. 1547, Assyria was ruled by Zuanirari. 1546, Egypt was ruled by Amenophis. 1545, Aaron was born to Amram and Jokot. 1542, Moses was born to Imram and Jokot. 1530, the Kassites dynasty controlled Babylon for 400 years. 1525, Egypt was ruled by Thutmose I. 1521, Assyria was ruled by Puserissa III. 1520, the cities of Troy and Corinth were founded. 1519, Noshin was born to Amenadab. 1516, the city of Sparta was founded. 1512, Egypt was ruled by Thutmose II. 1504, Hatshepsut ruled Egypt as co-regent with Thutmose III. 1502, Moses was driven from Egypt. 1500, Caleb was born to Jephunneh of Judah. Assyria became an independent kingdom. The Mycenaean Golden Age of 100 years began. The Razshamru tablets were written by the Phoenicians. 1497, Assyria was ruled by Enlil Nazirai. 1484, Assyria was ruled by Nal. 1483, Amram died at age 137. Gershom and Ilza were born to Moses and Zipporah. 1482, Joshua was born to none of Ephraim. 1473, Assyria was ruled by Sir Sadduni. 1472, Assyria was ruled by Sir 1468, Thutmose III of Egypt conquered Majdo. 1462, the year of Israel's exodus from Egypt. The Ten Commandments were given from Mount Sinai. 1461, the tabernacle was first reared up in the wilderness. Israel battled the Amalekites. Israel departed Sinai and arrived at Kadesh Barnea. 1460, Israel was turned into the wilderness to wander for 38 years. Tadali is to rule the Hittite Empire. 1452, Assyria was ruled by Zuanadimahai. 
1450, Tyre was founded by colonists from Sidon. Egypt was ruled by Amenophis II. Assyria made a treaty with Babylon. 1440, Anu Lazai ruled the Hittite Empire. 1432, Assyria was ruled by Enlil Nazir II. 1426, Assyria was ruled by Zur Nirari II. 1425, Egypt was ruled by Thutmose IV. 1423, Miriam and Aaron. So, now we're up to 1423 BC, since the Second World Age and Heaven Age has been established. And we see the migrations of the eighth day and sixth day creation taking place. And God's plan slowly and gradually infected. Died. Moses died on Mount Pisgah at age 120. The Pentateuch, called the Books of Moses and the Law was written by Moses prior to his death in 1423 BC. The events of Genesis are from 3975-1462 BC, those of Exodus 1462-1460 BC, those of Leviticus 1462 BC, those of Numbers 1461 BC, those of Deuteronomy 14. I must think that we should replace and when it comes to the Old Testament, the term B.C. before Christ, which makes sense, but it's really the Second World Age and Heaven Age we're learning about what's going on in history. B.C. 1422, Joshua led Israel across Jordan into Canaan. Jericho was destroyed. Joseph's bones were buried at Shisham. 1420, Hattusilis II ruled the Hittite Empire. 1419, Assyria was ruled by Sudor Bel Nisusu. 1417, Egypt was ruled by Amenophis III. 1415, Joshua divided the land of Canaan at Shiloh among the tribes of Israel. 1410, Assyria was ruled by Zurim Nisusu. 1402, Assyria was ruled by Zur Nadine 1400, Tadalius III ruled the Hittite Empire. The Golden Age of Uderit began for 100 years. 1397, Egypt was ruled by Amin Hotep III. 1392, Assyria was ruled by Eribadadai. 1390, the Hittites reached the height of their power. 1380, Sapilililumas I ruled the Hittite Empire. 1379, Egypt was ruled by Amenophis IV. 1375, Akatitan was built in Egypt by Amenophis IV and Nefertiti and was made the capital. 1372, Joshua died at age 110 and was buried at Timnath Sarah in Mount Ephraim. The book of Joshua was probably written by Joshua and covers 1422-1372 BC. Othniel, son of Kenaz and brother of Caleb, judged Israel 40 years. 1370, the Hittites defeated the Mitanni. The kingdoms of Moab, Ammon and Edom were established. 1365, Assyria was ruled by Zur Ubalitai. 1364, Egypt was ruled by Samadke who returned the capital to Thebes. 1361, Egypt was ruled by Tutu Nkhenaten. 1352, Egypt was ruled by A. 1348, Egypt was ruled by Harman. 1346, Anunas II ruled the Hittites. 1345, Merciless ruled the Hittites. 1332, Ed, son of Jura of Benjamin, delivered Israel from the Moabites and judged Israel 80 years. 1330, 
Kula, Nimrud, was founded by Shalman Zahi as capital of Assyria. 1329, Assyria was ruled by Enlil Ni Rasri. 1328, the Mitannian kingdom ended. 1320, the 19th Egyptian dynasty was founded by Ramesses I. 1319, Assyria was ruled by Arit Denilit. 1318, Egypt was ruled by Seti I. 1315, Muotis ruled the Hittites. 1307, Assyria was ruled by Adad Nirari I. 1304, Ramesses II ruled Egypt for 66 years. 1299, Ramesses II defeated the Hittites at Kadesh in Syria. 1296, Ahitesa, Merciless III, ruled the Hittites. 1289, Hattusilis III ruled the Hittites. 1280, Babylon was captured by the Assyrians. 1274, Shalman Zarai ruled Assyria. 1265, Tadeli IV ruled the Hittites. 1251, the events in the Book of Ruth began to take place. 1252, Deborah, wife of Lapidoth, and Barak, son of Abinom of Kadesh, delivered Israel from the Canaanite king Jabin II, and judged Israel forty years. 1244, Assyria was ruled by Tukhaltin in Ir to I. 1236, Egypt was ruled by Merneptah. 1235, Armunas III ruled the Hittites. 1222, Egypt was ruled by Amenmuses. 1216, Egypt was ruled by Seti II. 1215, Sapilililimas II ruled the Hittites. 1212, Gideon, son of Josh, and of Zrite of Ephra, delivered Israel from the Midianites and judged Israel forty years. His name was changed to Jerob. 1208, Siptatuisret ruled Egypt. 1207, Azur Nadinapli ruled Assyria. The Kassite dynasty of Babylon ended. 1203, Azur Nirari III ruled Assyria. 1200, the 20th dynasty in Egypt was founded by Sethnut. The Greeks colonized Asia Minor. The Hittite kingdom was destroyed. 1198, Ramesses III ruled Egypt. 1197, Enlil Qudaruja ruled Assyria. 1192, Ninitu Aplika ruled Assyria. 1190, Egypt defeated the Philistines. 1184, the Trojan War began. 1183, the fall of Troy. 1179, Asur Danai ruled Assyria. 1172, Tula, son of Kuar Issachar, judged Israel 23 years. 1166, Ramesses IV ruled Egypt. 1160, Ramesses V ruled Egypt. 1156, Ramesses Vi ruled Egypt. 1155, Jesse was born to Abed, the son of Boaz and Ruth. 1149, Jair, the Gileadite, judged Israel 22 years. 1148, Ramesses VII ruled Egypt. 1147, Ramesses VIII ruled Egypt. 1140, Ramesses IX ruled Egypt. 1135, Nebuchadnezzar's Zer of Babylon defeated the Elamites and in turn was defeated by the Assyrians. 1134, Eli, a descendant of Aaron through Tamar, was born. 1133, Azuriza ruled Assyria. 1127, Jephthah, the son of Gilead, 
delivered Israel from the Ammonites and judged Israel for six years. The Philistines captured the Ark of the Covenant and took it to Ashrit. 1123. The Chow Dynasty ruled China. 1121. Jephthah made his vow to God and offered his daughter as a sacrifice. Ramesses X ruled Egypt. 1120. Ibzan of Bethlehem of Zebulun judged Israel seven years. 1115. Tiglath Pileserai ruled Assyria. 1113. Elam the Zebulunite judged Israel ten years. Ramesses XI ruled Egypt. 1110. The Aramean migration in Mesopotamia. 1103. Samuel was born to Elkanah and Hannah. Abu judged Israel eight years. The name Britain was given to the Western Isles by Brutus of Troy when his Barak Phoenicians invaded England. 1100. High priest Haharavman seized power at Thebes in Egypt. The Battle of Tanush. 1095. Samson, son of Manoah, delivered Israel from the Philistines and judged Israel twenty years. Saul, son of Kish of Benjamin, was born. 1085. The twenty-first dynasty in Egypt was founded by Smens. 1080. The Philistines defeated Israel at Aphek and Shiloh was destroyed. 1079. Britain was ruled by Lorcarinus. 1076. Samson died in the destruction of the Temple of Dagon at Gaza. Asuridapilika ruled Assyria. 1074. Azur Belkala ruled Assyria. 1073. Samuel became judge of Israel. 1069. Britain was ruled by Gwendolen. 1065. Saul was anointed the first king of Israel by Samuel. 1063. God rejected Saul as king of Israel. 1061. Susan I ruled Egypt. 1056. Erai Bladder II ruled Assyria. So now we're at 10. 54 BC, since the Second World War, the Heaven Age has been established. And we see God's history taking place, His plan, His purpose to guide us and lead us. Dot. 1055. David was born to Jesse at Bethlehem. 1054. Sam Siadat for rule the Syria. 1050. The Sinus I rule the Syria. 1036. Eli died at age 98. The Ark of the Covenant was returned to Israel and remained in the house of Abinadab for 20 years. 1031. Shulman Zatu rule the Syria. 1030. Saul was again rejected by God as king. David was anointed king of Israel by Samuel. 1029, David killed Goliath, the giant Philistine. 1025, the book of Judges was written by Samuel and covers 1372 to 1076 BC. He also wrote the book. And remember too as well, we see the Kenites are here too. Um, uh, it's a study you got to look in, the Kenites for a later day of Ruth. 1027. Samuel died at age 76, and judging over Israel officially ended. First and second Samuel was written by Samuel originally as one book. I Samuel covers events from 1103 1025 BC to Samuel from 1025 990 BC. 1025. Saul died at age 70. David became king of Israel in Hebron at age 30. 1019, Asanarari for ruled Assyria. 1018, David was anointed king over all Israel at Jerusalem. Jerusalem became the capital of Israel. 1016, the Ark of the Covenant was returned to Jerusalem to the house of Abedidim. 1015, Nephi Arahias ruled Egypt. 
1014, Memphrisius ruled Britain. 1013, Asur Abi II ruled Assyria. 1011, Amelitus ruled Egypt. 1010. Now, here we see it. Here we see it. Israel are coming out of the Egyptian wilderness from their captivity. Got opening up the Red Sea. The Hebrew people. God moving everything into plan. The Hebrew people. What does the Hebrew? What does? What does it mean to be a Hebrew person? They that crossed over the great Euphrates River. They that crossed over the river. And so now we see the migrations of the tribes all the way to King David, establishing the monarch of Israel. The Philistines invaded central Palestine. 1003, Solomon was born to David and Bathsheba. 1002, Azoka ruled Egypt. So, 991. So we end on 1002. BC, since the Second World Age and Heaven Age was established, and King Solomon coming into play, Israel becoming an empire now. History taking place, eighth day, eighth day creation, sixth day creation. God are we putting everything into play, into motion. Now, 900 B.C. we're in, since the Second World Age and Heaven Age has been established. Nine hundred and ninety-eight, Absalom slew his brother Amnon. Nine hundred and ninety-six, Sennacherib ruled Egypt. Nine hundred and ninety-five, Absalom returns to Jerusalem. 993, Absalom led a rebellion against his father David. 992, Absalom was slain by Job. 990, the three-year famine in Israel ended. 988, a plague was sent on Israel because David numbered them. 987, Zion ruled Egypt. 985, David died at age 70. His son Solomon reigned as king in his reign. 982, construction of the temple at Jerusalem began. 975, the temple at Jerusalem was completed and dedication began. 972, the dedication of Solomon's temple ended. Asur is it to rule Assyria. 967, Tiglath piles are to rule Assyria. 964, the Queen of Sheba visited Solomon in Jerusalem. 959, Solomon wrote Proverbs, Ecclesiastes and Song of Solomon. Susan II ruled Egypt. 945, Solomon died at age 58 and Israel was divided. Rehoboam, son of Solomon and Naaman, an Ammonite. And so now, we're up to... Nine hundred and forty four BC since the second world age and heaven age was established. The death of Solomon, the division of the kingdoms of Israel into two houses, the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Ten and a half tribes were assigned to the Northern Kingdom, which was uh, Northern Kingdom of Israel, ten and a half tribes. 
two and a half tribes were assigned to the southern kingdom of Judah. And so we see that coming into play. Disobedience of Israel, their sin, their wickedness. Israel obviously being worse than Judah, but still Judah nonetheless. At age 41, ruled Judah 17 years. Jeroboam, son of Nebat of Ephraim, ruled Israel 22 years. 944, Ebrook ruled Britain and founded York. 942, Leah ruled Britain and built Carlisle. 941, Shishak took the Jewish temple treasures to Egypt. 940, Rezan ruled as king of Damascus in Syria. 934, Azur Dan II ruled Assyria. 928, Rehoboam died, succeeded by his son Abijam, Abijah, in the 18th year of Jeroboam's reign. Abijam's mother, Maka, was the daughter of Absalom. He ruled Judah three years. 926, Abijah died, succeeded by his son Azah, in the 20th year of Jeroboam's reign. He ruled Judah 41 years. 925, Jeroboam died, succeeded by his son Nadab, in the second year of Azaz's reign. He ruled Israel two years. 924, Nadab was slain by Basha, son of Ahijal Vissachar, in the third year of Azaz's reign. Basha ruled Israel 24 years. 923, Zerah the Ethiopian invaded Judah. 921, Jehoshaphat, was born to Azandazuba, daughter of Shilhi. 917, Hudibras ruled Britain and built Canterbury and Winchester. 911, Adnirari II ruled Assyria. 910, Israel and Judah warred against each other. 901, Basha died, succeeded by his son Elah, in the 26th year of Azaz's reign. He ruled Israel two years. 900, Elah was slain by Zimri in the 27th year of Azaz's reign. Zimri ruled Israel seven days, then burned himself to death in the king's house. Israel was divided, with Omri ruling part and Tibni ruling part, for six years. Nine thousand eight hundred and ninety-six. Tibni died in the thirty-first year of Azaz's reign, and Omri ruled Israel alone for six years. The capital of Israel was moved from Terza to Samaria. Jehoram, son of Jehoshaphat, was born. Eight hundred and ninety. Duke Altinanita II ruled Assyria. Eight hundred and eighty-nine. Omri died, succeeded by his son Ahab, in the thirty-eighth year of Azaz's reign. He ruled Israel 22 years. Jericho was rebuilt after 533 years. Elijah prophesied to 868 BC. Joel prophesied to 885 BC and wrote Joel. 888. Take a lot I ruled Egypt. 886. Azad died, succeeded by his son Jehoshaphat, age 35, in the fourth year of Ahab's reign. He ruled Judah 25 years, three years as co-regent with his father Isa. Obadiah prophesied and wrote Obadiah. 883, Asana II ruled Assyria. 880, Ben Haddad I ruled in Damascus of Syria. 869, Ahab was killed in battle. He was succeeded by his son Ahaziah in the 17th year of Jehoshaphat's reign. He ruled Israel two years. 868, Ahaziah fell through a lattice and died, succeeded by his brother Jehoram, Jerom, in the 19th year of Jehoshaphat's reign. He ruled Israel 12 years. The prophet Elijah was taken up, succeeded by Elisha, who received his mantle. 865, Osorkon II ruled Egypt. 864, Jehoshaphat died succeeded by his son Jehoram, age 32, in the fifth year of Jehoram's reign. He was co-regent with his father for five years, and ruled Judah eight years alone. 858, Leah II ruled Britain and built Leicester. Chormans III, 
son of Ashenasirpal II, ruled Assyria. 857, Jehoram of Judah died, succeeded by his son Ahaziah, age 22. Ahaziah's mother was Athaliah, daughter of Ahab and Jezebel. He ruled Judah one year in the twelfth year of Jehoram's reign. Upon his death, his mother Athaliah ruled Judah seven years. Jehoram of Israel was slain by Jeb, son of Nimshi. Jeh ruled Israel twenty-eight years. 854, the Assyrians battled the Syrians, Urculina of Hamath, and Nimshi of Israel. 851, Athaliah was slain by a sword and was succeeded by Jehoash, Josh, her son by Zibiah of Beishba, in the seventh year of Jim's reign. Jehoash was seven years of age. He ruled Judah forty years. 850, the Assyrians battled Syria. Meshur of Mob gained their independence. 842, Jehoah of Israel submitted to the Assyrians. Hazael ruled Damascus of Syria. Shorm and of Assyria defeated Hazael at Damascus. 839, Shorm and Zer invaded Syria for the sixth time. 836, Chezonk II ruled Egypt. 835, Tekelot II ruled Egypt. 830, Jeb died, succeeded by his son Jehoahaz in the 23rd year of Josh's reign. He ruled Israel 17 years. 824, Shalman III of Assyria died. 823, Samsiadad V ruled Assyria. 820, Marduk Balatsuikbi of Babylon was defeated by the Assyrians of Durkapsakul. 817, the Libyans founded the 23rd dynasty in Egypt. 814, Jehoahaz died, succeeded by his son Josh, Jehoash, in the 37th year of Josh's reign. He ruled Israel 16 years. Macedonia was founded. Carthage was founded by colonists from Tyre. 812, Josh of Judah was slain in bed by his servants and succeeded by his son Amaziah, aged 25, in the second year of Josh's reign. His mother was Jehoiada of Jerusalem. He ruled Judah 29 years. 811, Chezon III ruled Egypt. 810, Adad-Nirari III ruled Assyria. 808, the prophet Elisha died. 806, Ben-Hadad II ruled Damascus of Syria. 805, the Assyrians attacked the Syrians at Damascus. Ninety-eight, Josh died, succeeded by his son Jeroboam, who had ruled for eleven years as co-regent with his father, in the fifteenth year of Amaziah's reign. He ruled Israel forty-one years. Amos, father of Isaiah, prophesied to 747 BC and wrote Amos during the reign of Jeroboam in Israel and used Zion in Judah. 797, Damascus was taken by the Assyrians. 786, the great earthquake of Amos 1 destroyed Tyre, Sidon, Ashdod, from Damascus to Gaza. 784, Amaziah died, succeeded by his son Azariah, Uz, Ziah, age 16, in the 27th year of Jeroboam's reign. His mother was Jecoliah of Jerusalem. He ruled Judah 52 years. 783, Sholman four son of Adad Nirari III, ruled Assyria. 776, the first Olympiad was held in Greece. 772, Jonah prophesied to the Assyrians of Nineveh, and Jonah was written. Azurdan III ruled Assyria. Pim ruled Egypt. 766, Chezonk IV ruled Egypt. 763, Assyrian dates were determined from the eclipse of the sun on June 15. They revolted against Assyria. 761, Jeroboam died, succeeded by his son Zachariah who ruled Israel six months in the 38th year of Uzziah's reign. 
he was slain by Shaulam, son of Jabesh, who ruled Israel one month. Shaulam was slain by Menahem, son of Gadi, who ruled Israel ten years in an overlapping reign with Pekah. 760, Rivala ruled Britain. 754, Azur Naravi ruled Assyria. 753, Rome was founded and Roman dating began. 750, Menahem died, succeeded by his son Pekah, in the 50th year of Uz Zaya's reign. He ruled a two-year overlapping reign with Pekah in Israel. Hosi prophesied. 748, Pekah of Israel was slain by Pekah in the 52nd year of Uz Zaya's reign, and Pekah ruled Israel alone for 20 years. 747, Uz Zaya was stricken with leprosy and his son Jotham, age 25, ruled as go regent over Judah, in the second year of Pekah's reign. He ruled Judah 16 years. His mother was Jerushal, daughter of Zadok. 744, Tiglath Piles of three, Pal, ruled Assyria and began the second Assyrian Empire. 743, the first Messenian War began. Assyria conquered Urartu, Ararat. 742, Assyria captured Aradus. 740, Isaiah began to prophesy. 738, Assyria conquered Hamath. 735, the Eccles of Chalcis set up the altar of Apollo the Guider in Sicily. 734, the Assyrians took Damascus of Syria and invaded Israel. 733, the Assyrians took Ashkelon. 732, King Uz Zaya of Judah died. His son Jotham also died, succeeded by his son Ahatz, age 20, in the 17th year of Pekah's reign. He ruled Judah 16 years. 731, Babylon was conquered by the Assyrians. 730, Micah prophesied. A 24th dynasty was founded in Egypt. 729, Hekah was slain by Hoshea, son of Elah. Hoshea ruled Israel nine years and was ruling when Israel went into Assyrian captivity. 727, Hezekiah became co-regent with his father Ahatz, in the third year of Hoshea's reign. 726, Israel revolted against Assyria. Shulmans of V son of Tiglath Piles of three, ruled Assyria. 725, Shalmans laid siege to Samaria and captured Shisham. 724, Hezekiah destroyed the brazen serpent Moses had made. 722, Sargon II, son of Tiglath Piles of three, brother of Shalmans of E, and father of Sennacherib, ruled Assyria with Shalmanza. 721, in the ninth year of Hoshea of Israel and the sixth year of Hezekiah's reign as vice-regent with his father Ahatz, Israel was taken captive by Syria. 27,290 captives were deported from Samaria to Gozan, Haran, Media, Hula and Nineveh. Sibiris was founded by the Achans. 717, Ahatz died, succeeded by his son Hezekiah. His mother was Abijah, daughter of Zechariah. He ruled Judah 29 years. 715, the 25th dynasty was founded in Egypt by Shebeka, Nubians. 712, 15 years were added to King Hezekiah's life. 711, Sarkon of Assyria captured Ashad and Gath in Palestine. 710, Hezekiah's tunnel was built to bring water into Jerusalem. 709, Sargon entered Babylon and declared himself king. 708, Sargon conquered Cyprus. Dorian Tarentum was founded by Phalanthus. Corsero was colonized by the Corinthians. 705, Sargon was killed in battle and succeeded by his son Sennacherib as king of Assyria. He made Nineveh the capital. 703, Merodach Baladan II of Babylon rebelled against Assyria. 701, Sennacherib captured Sidon and Acre, invaded Judea and laid siege to Jerusalem. Shabataka ruled Egypt. 700, Darius founded the Median Kingdom. 
So we have the migrations of Israel and the Assyrian captivity and Babylonian captivity. And what do we know? Uh, after the house of Israel's Assyrian captivity, they migrated over the Caucasus Mountains, migrating Europe, Canada, Alaska, America, and settled there. And under the last king, Zedekiah, Jeremiah took the daughters of Zedekiah to Egypt, and out of that ancestry, uh, one of the daughters was named Scotha, and out of that ancestry, uh, and she married, and out of that ancestry came Scotland, Ireland, and mixed with the house of Israel, and all the European monarchs since then, all the way to Queen Elizabeth II, where we're at. Ninety-seven. Hezekiah died, succeeded by his son Manasseh, age twelve. His mother was Hephzibah. He ruled Judah fifty-five years. The prophet Isaiah died. He wrote Isaiah during the reigns of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahax, and Hezekiah, covering seven hundred and eighty-four, six hundred and ninety-seven BC. The prophet Hosea wrote Hosea, covering seven hundred and eighty-four, six hundred and ninety-seven BC. The prophet Micah wrote Micah, covering seven hundred and forty-seven, six hundred and ninety-seven BC. Six hundred and ninety-two. Sennacherib destroyed Babylon. Tahaka ruled Egypt. 685. The Second Messenian War lasted for three years. 681. Sennacherib was killed by his two sons. 680. Isahadon ruled Assyria and destroyed Sidon. 671. Isahadon invaded Egypt. 670. Isahadon conquered Egypt and drove out Tahaka. 669. The Lacedaemonian army was defeated at Hisi. 668. Assurbanipal ruled Assyria 43 years and established a great library at Nineveh. 667. Assurbanipal destroyed Thebes in Egypt. 664. The first naval battle occurred between Corinth and Corsera. 663, Samatikai freed Egypt from Assyria and founded the 26th dynasty. 660, Sardis fell to the barbaric Cimmerians. 659, Byzantium was founded. 652, a four-year civil war began in Assyria between Assurbanipal and his brother Shamish Shamukin. 650, the Gadilos landed in Aladdin Island. The Lydians conquered the Greek Asian cities. 647, Daises died, succeeded by his son Phraorts as ruler of the Meds. 642, Manasseh died, succeeded by his son Amon, aged 22. His mother was Meshalimith, daughter of Arius of Jotba. He ruled Judah two years. The prophet Naam wrote them during his reign covering 697-642 BC. 640, Amun was slain by his servants in a conspiracy. He was succeeded by his son Josiah, age 8. His mother was Jedida, daughter of Adai, Ayah of Boscath. He ruled Judah 31 years. The Median Empire became independent. The Assyrians destroyed Elam. 633, Thebes fell to the Assyrians. 631, Syrian was founded by colonists from Greece. 630, Zephaniah prophesied and wrote Zephaniah during the reign of Josiah, covering 640-609 BC. 627, the Cimmerians invaded Magnesia. 626, Jeremiah prophesied from the reign of Josiah until after the captivity. 647-522 BC and wrote Jeremiah about 587 BC. Asabonipal died and Azuritelileni ruled Assyria. 625. Nabopolassar began the Chaldean dynasty. 623. The book of the law was found. 2 Kings 22. Since Amalissa ruled Assyria, followed the same year by Sensaris Khan. 
621, a written code of laws was published by the Archon Draco of Athens, called the Draconian Laws. 620, Constantinople was besieged by Chosroes of Persia. 612, Nabopolassa destroyed Nineveh. 611, Azur Ubalit II ruled as the last king of the Assyrian Empire. 609, Josiah was slain in battle by Pharaoh of Egypt, succeeded by his son Jehohax, Chorlam, age 23. His mother was Hamudal, daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. He ruled Judah three months and was taken captive to Egypt. 608, Eliakim, son of Josiah by Zebuda, daughter of Pedaiah of Rumah, age 25, was made ruler of Judah by Pharaoh Nicot, who changed his name to Jehoiakim. He ruled Judah eleven years. The prophet Jeremiah delivered his temple sermon. Pharaoh Nicot of Egypt invaded Asia. 606, the Assyrian Empire ended as Nineveh fell to the Meds. 605, Jehoiakim was taken to Babylon in fetters, along with Daniel, Hananiah, Mizhael and Azariah, and Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon attacked Jerusalem. The prophet Habakkuk wrote Habakkuk during his reign. Nebuchadnezzar became ruler of the Babylonian Empire and defeated Egypt at Carchemish. He built Babylon's hanging gardens. 604, Nebuchadnezzar destroyed Ashkelon. The Phoenicians circumnavigated Africa. 600, Zoroaster, the prophet of Iran, was born. Chima ruled Britain. The Fakens of Ionia built Massilia in Spain. So we're moving in history.